Hi, I'm Rebecca Maida and I am on FR Conventions. I actually didn't have to audition for my part on Once Upon a Time, which is like an actor's dream because all we do is audition, so we're always looking for a new job and auditioning for it, so I was lucky enough that this part was just a straight offer. So when they had the role of the Wicked Witch of the Once Upon a Time, they just called me and asked me if I wanted to do it, and I was like, yes! <laughs> and my first day on set was a really big scene between Zelina and Regina where the sisters kind of meet for the first time in season three. So that was a great way to start, was just Selena and Regina. It was like a five page ginormous scene and that was my introduction to life on Once Upon a Time. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have a really good time on this show. <laughs> well, initially it was supposed to be um, eight episodes, that's how it was sold to me, I'm going to be like the lead villain because back then in season three that's when they started splitting the seasons into two so it would be like 3A, 3B, right? So 3A was Peter Pan and then 3B was the Wicked Witch of the West. So like you're going to come in, you're going to have this pop, you're going to terrorise everybody and then you're going to die and I'm like brilliant and then they just, and then I came back from the dead they just kept trying to kill me off and get rid of me and I'm like nope! <laughs> You can't keep this witch now, I just kept coming back. So it went from doing like, you know, eight episodes to ending up being like 60 episodes in the end. So it ended up being like five years of my life. It was really cool. Ugh, it's like a dream come true. Like I've always loved singing and I've always, you know, wanted to sing in my career and initially, um, I wasn't supposed to be in the musical and I found out from somebody that they were doing a musical episode and I hadn't been invited to participate. I'm like, what? What do you mean? And then I went into the offices and I'm like, guys, I can sing. And they're like, oh, really? I'm like, I want to be in it. And then one of the other actors dropped out because they're like, I don't want to sing. And so then they ended up then writing the song Wicked Always Wins and it was this really big giant number you know, this big song in the episode and it was never even meant to happen. What did they do? They got us um, an amazing um, singing coach in LA, but we were obviously shooting in Vancouver, so we would have like um, Skype, FaceTime sessions with this guy where we would practice the song. And then they um, had a choreographer that we met with to kind of like block and how we were going to move. But it was all very quick and it wasn't a lot of preparation and I ended up with my big song, with all the munchkins and all the things that was going on, we ended up just kind of like work, working it out on the day and I kind of was able to kind of give my ideas of how to move around. So it was very much like a team effort and collaborative and rather than just kind of um, miming along to the words, we were told to actually sing because your, your, your mouth and your neck doesn't move the same if you're just going, so I was actually singing my song over my song playing in the studio over and over and over again for about 12 hours. <laughs> Just listening to myself sing over and over again. It was so much fun. I mean, that whole day was like shooting a music video for Zelina all day. I mean, it was like, I felt like, I don't know. It was one of the best days of my career, to be honest. I loved it. When I think about the ending for Zelina, I always think back to the end of season six because I loved the way that, I loved the ending of season six and I loved like the whole moment of like Regina and Zelina and Henry and baby Robin all living together in Storybrooke and then we were like building a crib together and finally Zelina had that family. So for me the ending was for her the, really the, the coming together of the sisters and that, having that family for the first time in her life. It's not normal. I mean, normally, like, when you do a job as an actor, you walk away from a TV show, you're lucky if you've made one really good friend. But I've made so many good friends that have become my actual family. Like, Sean is like my actual brother, and Lana is just like my sister. We can do anything together, even if we're doing nothing, just like how I hang out with my sister in real life. 
and Emily and Victoria and Meryn, I see these people throughout my entire year all the time. Like even when I had a, my, a baby shower um, for my son, I looked around the room and half of the room was just everybody from once upon a time. And I was like, how lucky are we that we got to walk away from this job and we just continue to do life together. It's really cool. Like we need to develop another show where we could just all put ourselves back into it because we miss seeing each other every day, you know? Yeah, I want to see it for sure. I love the musical, I love it. I'm a big fan. It's crazy, I mean, it's very similar. Like my experience on Lost and Once Upon a Time was very similar in that I sort of joined both shows when they were, had already kind of become these sensations. So I feel very blessed that I got to enter something huge and then do it again. But it's because of Lost that I got Once Upon a Time because the two guys that created Once Upon a Time were part of the writing team on Lost. So we already had that relationship. And if it wasn't for Lost, then I never would have been on Once Upon a Time. So I feel incredibly lucky. We worked together for like a decade. I'm actually seeing her next week. She's coming into LA and I get to see her and meet her new baby. And she's again, like another sister to me. So I feel very, very blessed. I mean, it's just so much fun. There's just so much laughter, you know? We are so ridiculous when we're together. I feel like I'm 15 years old when I hang out with my classmates. I feel, it's just, we have like such like a childlike energy when we're together. It's like being back in school. I just love it. We, we are guaranteed to have a good time whenever we're all in the same room. It's just, a, it's a love for the show, but it's also a love for each other, you know, and it's, a, you know, these conventions are such an amazing way for people that came together and found each other and built a community because of the show, you know, and it's been really special for us to watch everybody grow up and have their dreams come true and, you know, find relationships and career goals and dreams come true or have kids or whatever, and I've watched these people grow up, it's been so cool. I mean, I look around the room at these conventions and I know 80% of the people, you know, and I know their names, like I'm genuinely invested. That's one thing I love the most about conventions is you get to see the same people and it becomes this world and this community for people to hang out and support each other, especially when people live all over the world, you know, and their friends on the internet and social media, they get to come together and be in real life together. It's a really cool opportunity for everybody. <laughs> Feels really sad. I mean, never say never. Who knows what our next show will be, but I definitely, the, the Paris ones have been really, really special for us. You know, having breakfast this morning in the hotel with Lana, I was like, I don't want this to be the last one. But hopefully I won't cry today. <laughs> but it's been really special. All the food, probably. <laughs> All the pain au chocolat. Um, I think the fun that we have as well when we go out at night as well, we've had some really fun dinners and drinks and just very Parisian, wonderful nights has been really magical for us. And these conventions in Paris is like where we really started to bond outside of the show. I think doing all these trips and traveling together internationally is what really solidified the friendships. Because yes, you see each other at work, but typically, you know, you, like, you go back to your partner or your kids or whatever, but these conventions, you know, we're without all of our families and we're just together. So it's kind of been like sleepaway camp for us, you know, so it's been a lot of mischief and a lot of good times. Mm -hmm.